Okay, I'm Sir Tap Tap, and this event kind of blows. So let's 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 go th over everything that's wrong with this event. And it's gonna be kind of a long one because there's kind of a lot. That's right, Parker. Um, where to even begin? So so the, 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 so some important info. So one thing. That was not mentioned in an earlier video, or maybe it was, but um, these events, these things from last year, by the way, a lot of people miss this fish. If you want to get the fish from last year, you click this thing in the event tab. Here you go. Um, uh, the the requirements for these things, they, they've been edited to um, use the 2018 theme, so you can just use the new theme instead of the old one. And same for the balloon tang. It's not you don't have to watch the old ads. Obviously, you just watch the ads that exist. So, that's how you get these. Um, and another new bit of information that was attained by a dirty cheater, but uh, I'm still glad to know. Ignore the laundry noises in the background, it's, it's laundry day. I, I couldn't really wait to do a video until then, but... Um, yeah, I imagine that sound is the people's money going down the drain. Because that's going to be a theme of this video, unfortunately. Um, anyway, it, it was discovered that you can buy the baby corgi with uh, currency. What you have to do... Hi, Parker. What you have to do is once these three baby fish unlock, it, um, the baby corgi is unlocked. And you can buy just one, but you can buy it with event currency. It costs 100000 And the baby shark costs 50000 And somebody... Somebody did this with a cheat method that I didn't think worked, so maybe they did hack their APK, but either way, uh, what they had appeared to be legit, even if the methods they used to obtain it uh, likely weren't. That's, you know, information's information. I don't, I make guides, so I can't really be too picky about where the info comes from. But, so if you want the baby core, you don't have to pay, pay $10. And it turns out I was wrong that it was an in-app purchase only fish. And... Here's the problem with that. It was never communicated in any way, shape, or form that you could get the, the corgi paid. So basically, for the first three weeks of this event, we were meant to believe that the, that the baby corgi, which a lot of people have asked about, um, we were made to believe that it was paid only. Because a lot of people are, oh, it's a dog, I like dogs, Brr, I gotta get it. And, um, yeah. Parker, don't step on that, please. Um... So that 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 sucks. Basically, I mean that's that's kind of fraud, isn't it? It's like saying, hey, you know, you got to pay to get this thing, but it's like, oh hey, actually, screw you. There was a way to get it for free all along. <laughs> You're dumb. You gave us money already. It's too late to get a refund. Uh, by the way, Google Play and I think Apple, Amazon or Apple's uh, App Store. Um, if you request a refund within 24 hours, it's basically no questions asked, you get it, even for in-app purchases. Um, if you bought the Corgi or the Auto Harvest during this event and you were misled, um, please do get that refund. I, I really think the, the, the stuff like this shouldn't be rewarded. Um, anyway, there's, there's so much to cover, it's giving me a headache. So, well, let's discuss first what's wrong with that. So. It's neat that the baby corgi can be obtained free, right? It's that's a good thing, right? Tap tap, come on, tap tap, don't be, don't be harsh. Well, the problem with that is, like I said, it's people likely bought that. Like I know people bought that under the impression that, like, I, I several people have been like, oh, I need to get that, so I guess I'm gonna buy the corgi, and they did, and I mean, they got the corgi, they got what they paid for, but. You know, if somebody says, you know, oh, it's $10, if you pay $10, you can use the restroom. But also, if you just ask, you can use the restroom for free. And somebody paid $10 just to use the restroom, that, that person has been kind of, you know, it's kind of fraud. That's kind of not good. Um, the, 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 the problem continues to be with Abyssrium. I've talked about this a lot before. They they make basically zero effort to give any sort of information to the player in any form. Um, there was an app store update, you know, the, the app update said there was a baby corgi. It did not say you could get it without paying for without paying real money. Um, it didn't say that um, there was alternative ways. It it just 
that they make no effort to communicate. And here's the thing. A lot of people excuse them because, you know, the, the, the original creators are based in Korea. The parent company is based in China. You know, oh, it's just a language barrier. But here's the thing. They make mistakes that, that can't be explained by the language barrier. They make massive glaring typos like flexual arch, which is not even close to a word. Um, there's, there's SAML let, oh, they fixed, that used to be SAML letter rock. I mean, it was there for like five months, but they did eventually fix it. Um, the, there was the Holy Sea Dragon. There, there is the, the Cumbersome Dolphin, which is, unless they've recently fixed it, still incorrect and still, it's not even a typo. It's like just completely blatantly incorrect. Um, and it's been that way, Cumbersome Dolphin. Save picture of Lonely Coralite three times. That's completely false. That's not how you get that. It's a picture of a dolphin three times. That's been wrong for f two full years. That's not a language barrier issue. That's just they don't give a shit. They, they, they make no effort to inform their players in any way, shape, or form. And I mean, I kind of benefit from that as a guide maker, but here's the thing. Um, I tr go out here and I try to play all the things and I try to figure everything out so you don't have to suffer through this awful drudging garbage of trying to figure out how this game even freaking works because the game devs the game devs don't give a shit if you know um but here's the thing due to these unlocks being time based there's no way without like it hacking that i could have known that the baby corgi was in here um i did everything i could to get the russian and get to that thing as fast as i could but it was not possible it was not possible to know that until three weeks into the event when a bunch of people would have already bought the corgi and that sucks. I can't even do my job fully because they're making these timed unlocks that are absolutely no fun. They're not interesting. It's just like, hey, screw you. You can't get this yet. Like, why not just make the event not work at all until the last day of the event? You know, you can get candy, but you can only look at the fish. You can't buy them. If you want to get the fish, log on on June 3rd or July 30th. Otherwise, screw you. Go to hell. You know? I mean, that would keep people from beating it on the first day, right? Right? Why not do that? Oh, right, because that would be stupid. But so is this. Um, they, they have, like, they've mentioned this explicitly, that they don't want people to finish the events in one day. And here's the thing about that. Nobody beats the events in one day. You know why I have people, so many people ask me why I have so much currency, which this isn't, this isn't even a lot, but I'll get to that. Um, here's the thing. The only reason people quote-unquote finish it in a day is because they grind on previous events. So I have spent so many hours hoarding candy and, you know, playing the game. And they're like, oh no, that's not valid effort because it's only valid effort if you start on July 1st. It's like, but, but, but no, I've been playing this game for two years, dude. Why, why are my efforts forfeit unless it matches your arbitrary date? Like, what, what kind of design is that? That's stupid. Um, you know, m make make the hidden fish interesting, make it require some effort, sure. But, but, like, just arbitrary, hey, we don't want you to finish the, to make, to beat the thing in a day, so we'll just make it impossible to beat it in a day because of timed unlocks. Like, that's not fun or interesting. And here's the thing, they had the perfect cure. The hermit crab was perfect. The way the hermit crab works is it prevents Song of the Moon hoarding, which is kind of bad. But what the hermit crab does is if you log in every day for 30 days and you tap your hermit crab, you get 20,000 stuff per day. So you get, over the course of 30 days, 600,000 currency. And that's not really related to player skill in any way, it's just how much you play. So it's a pretty flat rate and it keeps everybody kind of even. And with the price of the Egypt event, it was very reasonable. You had to play for about 10 days to get everything and you had the rest of the time to stock up. And that was perfectly fine. That that really solved all the problems with the Egypt event. I think everything was perfect. I think that was their best balanced event in terms of like their incessant need for people to who played the game longer to not have a benefit, which doesn't make any goddamn sense, by the way. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm a little bit more heated in this video, so you're gonna have to deal with that. But what is a video game? What is a game? Ignore the video part. If you play chess against a world-renowned chess master. Would you expect to win? Would you expect to be, would you expect that to be a 50-50 matchup? If you were to go play soccer against, you know, whoever plays soccer really good, I don't know soccer. If you were to go to the World Cup right now, would you expect 50-50 odds? 
That's right, Parker. You wouldn't. Um, I, I don't. It's it's perfectly reasonable for people who've played a game for a long time to have some manner of a leg up, especially when it's not a competitive game. Nobody loses out because I can buy this baby crocodile right now, which I'm not gonna do because it's really goddamn expensive. <laughs> um, nobody is harmed by me being able to do this. It's a single player game. That's right, Parker. It's a single player game. Um, nobody's hurt by me being able to do this. And here's the thing, even with all of the BS they've done, there's people out there with pictures of them with like 500 baby crocodile crocodiles. Some of those people freaking cheat. Some of these people just play insane amounts of time, way more than I do. Um, I don't really care about that. It doesn't negatively affect me. What negatively affects me is the game devs being like, okay, we're gonna make this insufferable. We're gonna make this event suck. We're gonna make everything terrible. Everything's gonna be super expensive. We're gonna lie to the player about whether they need to buy things. We're gonna make the prices insane. We're gonna make timed unlocks. So you can't get things. And that's, that sucks. That sucks. So, time to unlock some bad. That's, I think we've hammered that point successfully. Um, another thing is the price of this event. This event is ridiculous. It's pretendous. So let's go down. Uh, Farm a lesbian on Reddit. You might know her as Squabby Diver in my chat on Discord or uh, Grayson in the YouTube chat. Um, she has compiled an impressive um, little thing of how many things you need to buy to get the, the prices. So um, get, get ready for your jaw to hit the goddamn floor right now. Um, so, just to get the ballroom whale, just to get the new fish, like, treating this like a normal event with no merman, no baby fish, um, no last year's event, it's 104,000, which is, makes this the second most expensive event, just on that merit alone, after last year's event, which was 280,000 to, uh, get everything, or 270,000, somewhere in that number, um, but last year's event was like four times more expensive than anything else. This event is uh, already very expensive, just up to the ballroom whale. A hundred thousand just for that because it requires three courtyard dolphins, which are very expensive. And um, and um, what else is really expensive? Well, it's just it's just a lot. Um, and also the hermit crab eats an extra twenty five thousand to level up, and you you have to level up the hermit crab, so that's included in the cost. Um, so, 100,000 just to get to the ballroom whale, which is basically a third of what this event has to offer. Now, what's even worse than that, uh, assuming that you beat last year's event, but you want to get the merman, and you want to get the babies and everything, 482,000 candies. See, people talk to me like, oh, you have 200,000, how did you get so much? Not even half of what you need for this event. Not even half. Because what you need to do to get to the Prince of Abyss, who's not even a good fish, and I so regret having two. I thought it wouldn't save when I bought the second one because I just wanted a picture of the unlock for Instagram. Now, I wasted 100,000 on that stupid picture. <sighs> anyway, the Prince of Abyss is 100,000. Even The Kraken, I thought was too expensive, but I thought, hey, it's a neat thing, you only get one, it's huge, it's got an original design, it looks really cool. I'm okay with that. It's like a real nice, it's a really nice capstone on the event, even if I thought it was a bit too expensive. Prince of Abyss, 100,000. People put these guys in their tanks, let me show you how tiny they are. Um, somebody bought four, and they thought it was a, they thought they didn't get added to the tank, or they thought they lost them, because they couldn't find them in the tank. Look at them, look how majestic they are. Oh, there's the, I, there we go. I thought they weren't on screen, but it was. It's just... They're no bigger than a dolphin. And they don't really do anything. They're just kind of like, Look at me, I'm a merman. I can swim around. That's what you sound like when you talk underwater. Anyway. So, the, the problem with that cost, the 400... 482,000. It gets worse, by the way. But 482,000. That's for an experienced player. That's for somebody who already beat last event. Um... Included in that cost is a 100,000 for the Prince of Abyss, um, 150,000 for these three babies, and another 100,000 for the baby Corgi. That's a lot. And you also have to rebuy fish, which is so stupid, but I'll get to that in a bit. You have to rebuy cake fish and stuff to get the new thing. So the total cost is ridiculous, and that's not even the worst part. 
it's gonna get so much worse. I mean, it's gonna get a fair amount worse. So, what if you didn't play last year? What if you gotta do this all from scratch? Here's the cost for at least one of everything in the entire event, assuming you're a brand new player. 727,000. That's more candy than if you cast the Hermit Crab 10 times every day for a month. If you do that every day for a month, 600,000. This event, I, like, this is basically impossible. If you're, if you're a new player and you want one of everything, don't bother, frankly. I would just treat the whale, the, the ballroom sperm whale as like the last fish, like, or just ignore it completely and just get the baby, one, one of each baby fish or something. It's terrible. And you know what's, speaking of costs, we complained last year about the baby fish cost. The baby fish cost more this year. Everyone complained. Everyone was like, hey, um, 50,000 for the baby year, one year old sunfish. Um, but it's worse this year because the way it worked last year, the reason the last year one sucked was that you had to buy five of the parent fish. So five party sunfish is 50,000. But each additional one year old sunfish only costs 10,000. Now everything costs a flat 50,000. So each individual one of these costs as much as, as one baby from last year, basically. Or as much as five babies. It's. It sucks. It's. Really sucks. Um. Uh, so the, 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 they made the babies worse. The, the, the cost. 727,000 currency! Four times what I have here that people keep telling me is like, how did you get that? It's it's nothing. People think it's an amazing, impossible amount. And you need four times that amount to even get one of everything. So the cost is completely ridiculous. And here's the thing. When they changed up events, they said, oh, we want to make it easier and more fun. So you have events that cost about, events used to cost about 60,000 to get one of everything, by the way. This event costs over 10 times what those difficult and less fun events cost. When you take something that's quote unquote not fun, and the only thing that you do is make it 10 times harder to do, that's, that's, that's not fun. This, that's, that's a complete lie. They, they never meant it to be fun. They never did. Me they never meant it to be fun. It's completely inexcusable. So, oh my God. So the, the, no effort was made to make this fun. Um, they just wanted to make everything as expensive as possible. And it's amazing they did this on the anniversary event because the original anniversary event was the most expensive event ever, and it was the first event where people were really complaining about the prices. And they didn't touch the prices at all. They had the opportunity to go back in here. And they could have fixed things. Just require two of each of the parent fish. By the way, I still get people asking if the baby fish are possible. I don't know why. I have I have a guide out there and explains specifically how to get the baby fish. Um, please read the written guides. Please, please, please. The video the video guides are for people who are completely up to date with the game and only need the new information. Everyone else, please read the written guides. They're so much better. I link to them in every video description. I keep them updated. They are the most up-to-date. They are the Abyssrium Bible. Please just read the written guides. Um, but yeah, the, the, the baby fish con unlocks were so freaking confusing because people are like, I don't have them in my list. And it's like, no, you gotta, you have to buy five of the parent, which is so freaking stupid. Just bad design all around. And see, what, what, what they really need is a user experience designer, which, by the way, is what I am. I, they need somebody to write copy. They need somebody to design things to determine what will be fun, what will be not fun. They need somebody to find these hitching points. And that's what a designer does. They, they clearly don't have one of those. They have very good graphics designers. They do good graphic design. But the games are full of bugs, and I mean, that's not a designer's fault. But it's also full of really bad... Badly written copy, incorrect. There's typos. Um, the localizations. Some of the localizations are worse than English. Uh, the French one has German in it, um, and sometimes random stuff will be in Korean because they didn't fully translate it. And just they don't. They they do things like the corgi that's just completely unexplained, and they just basically offload it to me. Like I'm basically their unpaid intern 
just making sense of their game for them. Ugh. So, mini recap. Prices are completely, absolutely bonkers. Time to unlocks are stupid and make it impossible for me to do my job. And I have I have to translate the game for them because they don't they don't make descriptions that work. They don't properly describe their own game. So I kind of have to do this. And I've heard it from dozens of people that they would never have all of the fish if it weren't for me. It's really not possible. And uh, on its face, I like the hidden fish feature a lot. I think it's great. I like that you kind of go to all these online communities and talk about hidden fish and stuff. But there's a difference between having secret unlocks and doing something like, oh, it turns out if you play the game after July 17th, the, the corgi is not a paid only fish. Like that's not that's not a secret. That's that's like a that's a lie by omission. That's it's not a secret. The, very different things. It's the difference between like a surprise birthday party and a surprise pee in your mouth. Very different. Um, amazingly, I'm not done. This rant is not done. We're probably going to go for a half hour here. So buckle up. Um, in addition to all of this crap, in addition to all of this, uh, it's a buggy release. Which is funny because the release was apparently delayed because it wasn't quote unquote stable. Um, let's look on the Reddit. Let's see how many threads we've got here. Um, just in the last week since the event started, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen posts on the subreddit, and that's just not including things that have been deleted because we've had some consolidation. Like um, a lot of stuff was repeated, and it's just hard to moderate like that. So I think some might have been removed, but we've got. Took a picture of Bonito, didn't give me the fish. That's a pretty common one. Uh, anyone else having major problems with ads? There's always problems with ads. Ads crash, they never load. Um, speeding up farming and then not getting the product. Yeah, don't spend pearls on the Kermit Crab or the, um, the, the farms because a lot of people have been doing that and not getting the product. Oh right, the auto harvest, that's another lie I need to talk about. There's so much garbage in this event. Um, but first, let's first the bugs. First the bugs. Um, there's also a bug that it lists 200 event fish and managed fish, and there's only 199. Pretty minor, but again, that's just the interface just being blatantly wrong. And it's funny because there's no possible way that there's 200 because th there's an odd number of slots. That's <laughs> amazing. Anyway. Um, yeah, again, that's a that's that's an error that's absolutely not at all attributable to the language barrier thing. Um, there's also multiple expand bugs. So one of the things was actually kind of good. Um, it glitched out and considered um, it glitched out and let me buy this large sandcastle, even though I only bought level one of the sandcastle medium. And then it upgraded once as soon as I bought it. It upgraded the sandcastle level ten to max, and it's done other weird stuff. Um, it used to say that my small crater wasn't working, or that it like it was locked, even though it was at max level, and that seems to have stopped happening. But then people are doing things like they try to put out um, these normal expand items, and they'll come out as like Valentine's expand items. Oh right, I think I can, I can do something like that. Um, when I try to buy the brain coral. This is the medium brain coral, but I selected the big one. So let's let's select the uh, the small. The small ones are the ones here, right here, by the way. So let's buy a medium one. Oh wait, but that's the small one. Hmm. So let's see what happens when I buy the small one. It's a it's a mimic octopus. Wait, can I buy this? Can I actually buy this? Oh, I can't buy it. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's like, it's an off by one error is what it looks like, which that's a fairly common thing, but like, what's funny is they didn't add any, they didn't do anything to the expand. There's no reason for there to be expand bugs, because they didn't touch that feature. I don't know what they did. There's no new expand items at all, but they somehow completely broke it in multiple ways. Amazing. Um, what else is there? Oh, speaking of Valentines, uh, the platypus is missing. The platypus is freaking dead. Um, which might be the missing event fish. 
Also, somebody asked their thing, their their Facebook thing about it, and the guy had no idea. He was like, "Uh, equip the Valentine's theme." Except there was a Valentine's theme that for that event. There's the, the social media people don't know the game. It's amazing. I, I've said multiple times they could just hire me. I would be a lot more effective than their their current gameplay designers and support people. And I kind of already am the de facto support people. I honestly think more people come to me for support just because they don't get it from, from the Facebook people. They even hired a new person. I'm I'm completely over giving them any benefit of the doubt. Their, their new person is exactly as bad as the last one. They're, they're a little bit more friendly. I mean, they're not exactly as bad. They're, they're more friendly, but they're just as ignorant of the game and not able to help people. Um, we're not even done listing the bugs, by the way. So, what's this bug? Got a polar bear on one device. Opened the game with second device, said new save data, and found there's no polar bear. So there's lots of load and save bugs. Um, be very, very careful with cloud saves, because they're just buggy garbage in this game. Um, Opened the app and randomly got a shell. That's a good bug, but it's still a bug. Um, oh, right, this one. Do not uh, purchase auto harvest for this event. You cannot fulfill the 300 clam requirement. So for the perfect party requ quest to the get the Prince of Abyss, um, you're supposed to get 300 clams, which confuses a lot of people. But what you just have to do is tap the clam icon 30 times. And that means a minimum of 30 times checking the game, 30 hours minimum. And, I mean, only a robot could really do that. So what a lot of people do is, oh, I'll get the auto harvest because that will automatically get all of the, the stuff. And there's a lot of problems with auto harvest. It does not, I've heard it does not actually give you, it gives you like 23 hours. And uh, it also doesn't work for this event, or for this unlock, apparently. Um, I've had at least a half dozen people buy this auto harvest, which really makes me wonder, how much money did they get by putting a buggy requirement that doesn't work with the auto harvest? Um, which, in my opinion, you should never be able to pay like real money to like advance these things other than the you know pay to double your currency fish like that is okay it's very direct but when you start requiring multiple microtransactions to get ahead doesn't that fly in the face of the spirit of the oh no we don't 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 beat the event in one day unless you pay <laughs> cuz like oh people who buy the auto harvest they don't have to wait but me filthy dirt plebe um a pleb, actually. Did you know it's, it's pronounced plebeian, so it's it looks like plebe, but it's pleb. Fun fact of the day. Um, anyway, th th that's... So a lot of people, I wonder how much money they made by people seeing that 300 clam requirement and be like, Oh, that sucks. I'll just, I'll just pay a couple bucks and I'll skip past that. And then, nope, you wasted your money. You wasted a couple bucks. And it's just a couple bucks, but I mean... This is a business, and they're making money by confusing users and not giving them what they want. Which, again, kind of fraud, kind of semi... It's like an incompetent fraud instead of a malicious fraud, but, I mean, I would still kind of call that fraud. That's kind of false advertising. It's kind of real bad. Again, this is something that a gameplay designer could have been like, hey, people are going to get confused. People are going to be like, hey... This is a real slow, this is unfortunate, and hey, doesn't this overlap with our in-app purchases? Do, do those mesh together? Are people going to buy that and be upset? Like, a big part of designing a video game, or designing any kind of app, is like, testing all the features and being like, hey, are people going to be confused by this? Are people going to feel like this doesn't work properly? Are, is, how are these things interact? This, that's called user experience design. It's really important and really underrated. Um, it's something that in American companies tends to be a lot more, um, you know, Microsoft, Apple, you know, it's kind of Apple's claim to fame. Uh, Microsoft, Apple, Google do a fantastic job of uh, putting the user experience first. Uh, Non-American companies, especially Eastern companies, pay a lot less attention to that. PlayStation and Nintendo, obviously, you know, they make video games. They make consoles for a living. They do, they do a pretty good job of that. Um, Korean MMOs and stuff, I've found to pay a lot less attention to that. I'm still not done listing through the bugs. So back to the bugs. Somebody got a Christmas unlock. Um, somebody got a language glitch where the magic taps. Um, like the, the little banner here that appears when you have magic taps. I was in Korean. Platypus disappeared. Um, and a couple more mentions of that expand bug. Mention of that a crater glitch. You know, the crater unlocking. 
Um, oh, and something with the beluga. The beluga whale unlo re it, it un unlocks. It locks. It's not nothing in the game is supposed to be able to like remove your lo like the fact that you've unlocked it. And sorry, the stupid. <laughs> And maybe I should pause while the stupid. Um, oh, there it goes. I'm sorry for doing laundry. Um, I, I I have to wear clothes too. I'm sorry. Um, but the beluga whale, like, relocks if you use up your if you can you fuse one of the Irrawaddy dolphins, and that's a new thing because of the fusion update. Um, and the fusion update's given a lot of people a lot of grief too. They they keep doing these things where you gotta leave a fish in the tank for like an hour. And so many people have trouble with those things. I never have trouble with, so I kind of suspect some user error. But if there's an unlock that people c constantly get wrong, and you keep putting it more of that in the game, that's kind of that kind of transfers from being them doing it wrong to you doing it wrong. Like, like if you install doors that people somehow like keep stubbing their toe on. You know, maybe that's them. Maybe they're idiots. But if you keep putting more of those doors that people stub their toe on, and you don't solve this toe stubbing problem, that becomes your fault. That's that's another big thing about user experience design. Just because, just because the user is doing something stupid, it's still your, it's still on you to find a solution. That's design. You know, that's why guns have safeties. You know, that's why you know cars just have massive lists of safety features. Sometimes you gotta protect the user from themselves, you know? <sighs> anyway, and there's also this vitality bug where some people get, where they make like, say I get EO, vitality per tap. Say someday I loaded my game and I made EA vitality. I was like several letters behind. It, the, the game becomes impossible. That happens to a lot of people and the, the devs never acknowledge it on Facebook. They, they never have any advice. They don't know how to fix it. They've never fixed it. That's been the game for six months. It makes the game impossible to progress in. It's, it's a complete game-breaking bug. Literally a game-breaking bug. You can no longer progress normally uh, with that bug. And... Six months, no acknowledgement, no fix. And again, this this update was delayed to, to fix bugs. And there's, it's already it's still loaded. And another thing, they they released 25 fusion fish all at once. I think that was kind of a bad idea. Like, it's been so long for the krill farm. I'm kind of glad that they did finally just give us all of them. But they shouldn't have waited this long. They should have given us month by month a, a few, because krill takes so long. It's gonna be. It's gonna be weeks before I unlock all of these guys. Like each one of these that are unlocked costs at least 30 to 50 krill. One of them costs 100 krill. 100 krill is 50 hours for one fish. And that's if you never miss a second. That's right, Parker. So, that's a lot wrong with one update. That's right, Parker. So, I started this event and I was thinking, hey, that's a, I mean, it's not my favorite design, but you know, it, it's all right. And then I was like, oh man, these costs are really bad. And then the costs kept getting worse. And then I discovered there are people doing all of these things that are like getting them, like potentially paying the developers money under false pretenses. That's, that's really bad. That's right, Parker, it's bad. Yeah. 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 Um... Oh, and another thing. So, the, the the merman quest. We've already covered some issues of why it's bad, but the thing with the merman quest, almost every step of it sucks. So the first step is really easy. Collect 200 invitations. Just you know, tap 200 of these guys. Um, then you gotta collect 300 clams. Which again, that's one of those stupid things they put in just to slow you down and just make it not fun. And it overlapped with an in-app purchase that does not like that you think is gonna speed it up, but it doesn't. So that's like count one of fraud. And then it requires buying one of each cake fish, even if you already own them. Even if you already own them, I hate these kind of unlocks, by the way, where you gotta buy a new fish even if you bought it previously. Because that just lets you waste money. That, that shouldn't be a thing. This is supposed to be a relaxing, fun, enjoyable game where you can't do anything wrong. I always enjoy that with, with clicker design. One of the best things about it is that you can't really make a major mistake. Like if I go here and I buy a fish that's like, you know, 
I buy a whale shark because I like whale sharks. It, the, buying that whale shark doesn't get me any more or less vitality than buying a blue whale or something. You can't make a mistake in terms of which fish to buy. Your progress just continues right along. And if you want a different fish instead later, you can just buy it. You can just get the different fish and it's not a big deal. Um, it's less the case with the fusion materials, but I mean, fusion still only goes up. But, but you can make mistakes with the events now because like... You know, it wants you to buy cake whales, but only after you get 300 clams. And it's even worse because you have to do the really slow requirement before you can do the requirement that might waste you some stuff. So you might just go ahead and do the old event first. Be like, oh, I want to get the cake whale. So I'm going to do this event first. I got to collect 300 clams. So, you know, I'll just do this while I'm waiting for the clams. And then you find out, oh, since I didn't do the clams first, I have wasted... Um, it's not even an insubstantial amount of stuff because the cake well you have to buy is 200,000 So it's like you waste 28,000 candy if you do it in the wrong order or if you already beat these you have to pay 200 uh, or 28,000 just to complete one step of a quest and Then you have to get four babies which apparently by the way for the Prince of Abyss It's just four babies in general you can buy all three of the babies and then the baby corgi from just this year. So you don't have to go and buy the last year's babies. But the last year's babies are actually not particularly more expensive. Like the 100 year the 1 year old sperm whale, that's 100,000. So that costs the same as one corgi. You can get four baby sperm whales for the price of one baby corgi. So it's it's not even it's not even more efficient to use the the new one's fish exactly. Um, so yeah, that's it's kind of a whopper, but that's kind of all the things wrong with this event. And it, they don't change things if you don't let them know, by the way. Um, talk to them on Facebook, send them messages, show them this video, show them my Reddit post. I have a, I made a post about this on the subreddit. I made two, actually. Um, I made, um... I made one about the timed unlocks that suck, and I made, um, I made the, what did I say? Oh yeah, I made the, the we should post to, so the devs know, which is what I'm talking about right now. So, uh, yeah, l l let the devs know, be polite and stuff, you know. Don't, don't be one of those psychotic idiots that's like, threatens people, you know, threatens to kill people because their sniper rifle got changed in a video game. Which is a real thing that happened, by the way. They, they did balance changes in one of the Call of Duty games and somebody got death threats over it. Don't be like that. Be like, hey, love the game. This event has so many problems with it. I, I really think you should chill out on the prices. Egypt event, I, Egypt and pirate event, I think were pretty much perfect. Kraken, like I said, a little bit pricey. But all in all, I think it was perfectly fine. The total cost of that event was, I think, a little bit under 200,000, which is still a lot. But, um, seven, over 700,000 for this event. So, yeah. Um, anyway. That's, that's this video. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you, I hope you enjoy regardless, and, uh, hopefully the next event is less, you know, problematic.